Good morning. Good morning, good morning. The most ethical crew. You are welcome. Only you. Because I enjoy those who work in love and light. Who reciprocate equally their very best and always. That's what I like. That's what I prefer. That's what's healthier for my highest good. <laughs> Direct impact on that. So thank you. I need to adjust. Like, <laughs> we're only using half of the space here. Because, give me a second. Because, uh, um, we're going to correct that in just a few moments. Does that work? Today is Positive Affirmations Monday, a.k.a. Monday Motivations, a.k.a. Setting, <laughs> setting the week up with our best selves, giving us the formal nudge. <sighs> All right. I had some garlic naan this morning. How satisfying was that? That was delicious. Delicious. <laughs> um, and you know what? As weird as that may be, at least for me, um, you gotta pay attention to your body, the cues. I mean, inherently you know um, how to protect yourself, like how to balance yourself out. Sometimes there are certain ingredients that your soul is calling for that your, your spirit guides are um, motioning you towards in order to work your subtle magic. Sometimes you need a little garlic in your system. Or, you know, with the garlic knot, I think there's some rosemary in there, too. Some kind of herbs. And with that, you know, like, you don't have to, like, have a grimoire or, um, like, there are people that consider themselves non-spirit or that don't consider, consider themselves spiritual, yet, like, they do good work. They do the work. And they don't have to do spell work you know, formally speaking. Um, they do it in their own ways. And, you know, I, I realized, we realized as practitioners in hindsight, we've been doing this all along. You just listen to your own. Really. I mean, it's not mean, like, say, like, you are not open and ignorant to um, what other people's input are, you know, but you realize that as input. Mm-hmm. So you can decipher from there. But, uh, yeah, the garlic naan was good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know personally from use, um, I know it seems a little like woo-woo, um, commercially speaking, to have garlic as a protector. But, dude, for reals, I realized how, um, I think it's Claire Gustin's or something like that. It's um, clear s smell. I can, I can smell when others are like around <laughs> um whether they're good or they're bad if, it, if it's very potent that tells me about their energy so um when i smell my garlic like i've had the same thing of garlic for like at least a year spread out in several places and when that shit gets potent i know that there's bullshit happening bullshit is a miss so you know you can test yourself with that i mean the temperature here is pretty much stable so it's not like heat aggravates it you know from the um from like the sun or anything of that sort so, just thought I'd share that with you. It was delicious. Anyway, I think I'm going to do as above. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know my star families are very pleased with um, our partnership in, in delivering messages. And um, I know that they're part of my ethical crew. 
They're very happy with how I'm representing them. So um, that thought popped into my head while I was warming up the garlic naan, making it just a little toasty. Gosh, that was delicious. I'm still having my yogurt, but with walnuts, just delicious, delicious. You know, I have to tell you that even with as very little that's in my bank account, that's not just, <laughs> that's for real. Like, I will, I will be lucky to have like <laughs> less than $10 left after the mortgage comes through. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like the very, very bare minimum payment at the very, very end of the month on the very, very last day that it's going to be late. I mean, <laughs> in order for the creditor and not be it not to be reported to the creditors. Yeah, life is just, blech. but it's okay. It's okay. Origin story. Invested in the origin story. My origin story is bomb. Setting it up for the future. Okay. So, with that, with that whole thing, I am choosing to use as above. Okay. Of the Book of Shadows Tarot. Okay. We are going to answer. Let me see. Let me see work on this sound thing because it kind of sucks while it's on my bed sheets yeah okay um what are we answering here positive affirmations positive affirmations the book of shadows itself which is the high rofent the high priest five of cups <clears throat> the world card in reverse holy smokes Three of Swords in reverse. Initiation, which is karma, which is judgment. Upright. And then we have the Maiden of Air, which is the Page of Swords. This is wonderful. This is a positive learning experience in forum. Where in the middle, we have the World card and the um, Three of Swords, both in reversals. Those, that's the centerpiece. The book ends on the back end is the page of swords and the um, judgment card right there. Okay. On the other side, the book ends are the book of shadows, the hierophant, and five of cups. So this is constant movement. Um, this is the Lord of the Dance, where we tippy-tap, tippy-tap. <sighs> Massive muscle memory. Mm -hmm. um, mm, Lord, <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Holy smack. What, what's going on here? But it's like Lord of the Rings, but also Lord of the Dance happening over here. Okay? I gotta interpret this before I do the positive affirmations. Or do it simultaneously. But it's basically um, an ancient grimoire that we compose based on the fact that we have to rise to the occasion as a warrior to say goodbye to many things in order to exhibit like Kali growth, transformation. Mm -hmm. So we hold the torch in order to pass the torch. We rise to the occasion even when struck by lightning. It's kind of a divine download right there. Mm -hmm. So our emotion to do this, and we follow through. Although we, um, uh, how do I say it? With the world card in reverse, there's got to be something more than just like going through this. Oh, it's a continuous cycle. Mm, is it? It's like needing to finish a cycle. Hmm. Oh, okay. So the Page of Swords is the very end. So, um, basically, 
I have walnut here. All right. Instead of tongue in cheek, it's tongue in tooth. <laughs> um. Okay. So, we go through life knowing that we've got to do what we've got to do. What's best for the situation. Not just best for ourselves because that's an automatic yes. But what's best for the situation in whole. It's worthy of being scribed for future generations, future use. Not just our own generation, but those that we... Um, uh, um, are not within our immediate um, grasp, okay? So we jot these notes down. We add to the tribal, tribal book of knowledge, okay? Um, and that which is honorable, we find honor in, okay? <clears throat> so it's like a dual, like a mutual exchange of credibility okay we're doing things that are honorable and we find honor given the placement of ourselves <clears throat> then we have um the world card in reversal and the air card so we realize that there's this continual uh, how do i say it <clears throat> that sometimes it takes repetition in order for us to learn um, we learn through several cycles, just like we go through a book of chapters. Okay. So, there are several lessons, not just one big lesson. There's not just the cognition of the straw that broke the camel's back. Okay. We're at a certain point where we are no longer feeling the feels of heartbreak. Okay. We've self-managed to that point. However, within this closure, there's more to address than just the heartbreak, okay? The, that's just the surface layer. I mean, there could be stuff that's under, you know, in um, beneath the surface. But that's not... Um, the heartbreak is something that, like, kind of keeps the wound open. But sometimes, you know, when the wound, um, like patches over there still might be infection underneath so within this phase we are learning how to um, here let me get um a clarifier card for that because that's where we're at right now um in comprehension of a large as cycle that is about to complete on its way to being done okay so this is for the sake of, um, how do I say it? This is meant to level us up because the judgment card is initiation. We're looking to the gods and goddesses. We're looking into the higher powers. Okay. It's very ritualistic, very sacred. It's a um, learning process that inevitably there's only one way. Let's just be engaged in it. And <clears throat> so, with these advances, there are automatic rewards. By default, we reap our karma from it. So, what do you want to tell me about this being a positive affirmation? I mean, I think that's just our life story on Earth. So, okay. Mm. I think that was supposed to be a message. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, okay, let's get a clarifier for the world card. That's what I'm interested in. Okay. Mother of Earth. Um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. It's learning how to love ourselves despite the terms of our situation. It's also about loving the sentience around us, which includes our situation within its um, context of placement, okay? And there's a purpose for it. It's not the lovey-dovey type of stuff. This is like 
tough love. Okay, so I was dealt these cards. Okay, what do I do? Okay, I've, I've self-managed my feelings, okay? So um, I can heal properly, but now I have to like really take a personal dig at what's going on beneath the surface so that no one else can trigger me. And I think that's the positive affirmations here. Um, that I love myself enough to follow through, to see what's going on beneath the surface, to acknowledge what needs to happen, to address it and continue to follow through, to seek closure, to self-manage on a higher level so that, um, how do I say it? So that I can pass on the knowledge of know-how um, within the intricacies of the human condition. By that, I mean that I'm not going to point the finger at anybody else as a causation. I can say they are agents of change for sure, but I'm not going to sit on the fact that they have that much control over me. Okay. When you self-manage through the pains, the, all of that, and you really look at the things that are infectious, which also include sometimes the agents of change, you have to extricate them. You have to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. So, there's that. What else? I think that's, I think that's good. All right, so that's positive affirmations one. Positive affirmations two is quite a bit. Elemental of Earth in reverse. The Ace of Cups. The Queen of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. The Elemental of Water. The Six of Pentacles. And the Seven of Swords in reverse. Holy smokes, goodness gracious. Why do, why, like, dude... I must have leveled up, or you must have also leveled up being here and understanding what's going on to get, like, seriously, these are, like, chapters in itself and trying to read this. Like, okay, we had three, six here, and then the seventh card to kind of clarify. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven again. Maybe I'm supposed to interlay it, so give me a second. Okay, let me just go through it one by one, okay? Uh, actually... The elemental of Earth is something that we're pocketed. It's a charm that we can use for later. It's something to upgrade our pentacle energy. At least for me, for sure. It's like, um, you know, the, like back in the 80s or 90s or whatever, they're like, you win a lifetime supply of blah, 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 blah. And when people wonder, like, what's a lifetime supply? And as a kid, you're like, oh my gosh, I get to have it until like I'm on the old, at the old age of 30. That's what we thought was old. 30. Maybe 35. Yeah. So you're you're like bargaining, you're wagering on on like elements that you are within your perspective at the moment. <laughs> Even the concept of old age. <laughs> so, anyway. We want like a lifetime supply of cookies for our cup. Okay? Um, it's like constantly replenish this elemental of earth energy. That is what I am gifted. I am so happy for that. Thank you, spirit. So, this is excellent. I mean, goodness gracious. I have to lay it out one by one. Okay. The mother or the queen of swords in reverse. Let me figure that one out. Because we have the seven of pentacles and then the elemental of water. Hmm. The, um, okay, so I guess I have to read this, like, separate, I mean, together. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, the Book of Shadows, okay. Because we engage in this formal, um, given, granted this formal position of not just documenting, but adding, being the editor, <laughs> the proofreader, 
of um, the Book of Shadows, the ultimate Book of Shadows, this tribal knowledge that adds to the Akashic Records. Enhances it, like it's part of the appendix. Like, I am in charge of the appendix, basically. <laughs> All the reference points of um, that which is described mm -hmm, by the gestures of others. So, I provide the evidence. Okay. <laughs> that makes total sense, okay? Um, the validating portions. Yeah. It's like the official cheater leader of um, the, you know, the series, the volumes, the, the book. Okay. So that's why I'm given a lifetime supply of cookies, Spirit has... <laughs> recognize my needs, my wants, my desires, and has fulfilled it within this extrinsic incentive. It's not just extrinsic, but it's an elemental of Earth, which is like a charm to any kind of pentacle energy. Your investments, Tina. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, being that the Ace of Cups is underneath the Five of Cups, it's saying that I'm finding natural kinship with the world. I find natural kinship with the world, with my personal holy grail. When I know, we all know that we have to say goodbye at some point or another, okay? Even to like certain hobbies. You know, people who, um, this reminds me of my mother-in-law, okay? Or anybody going through dementia, okay? There's a loss of identity when it comes to, um, not having the same access points that give you comfort. It's like comfort food through your gestures. So if you l lose certain mobilities within trying to engage with the world, it's like in order to restabilize, secure, um, to have one a one-up over that condition, especially for you caretakers, you must understand um, not just the loss behind it, but how to mediate someone through that to help navigate someone through um, that loss. And it's not always through distraction. Um, you learn like how to help others digest and appreciate the blessings that they had once before. So you say like, okay, okay, so I can't um, do this craft anymore. I can't sew anymore, or I can't um, change um, oil in a car anymore. I can't, you know, work on my, um, you know, just do those things anymore. But you know what? Remember the time when you saved this person from doing this and that? Remember when that other guy came up to you? Remember when this lady needed a baptismal dress and she couldn't afford one? Remember and you made one for her? You remember when, like, do you remember that time? Of course they do. Of course they fucking do. Try it. Try it. Do you know how much peace that brings someone? It, it changes the focus on, I don't have that anymore, to what they do have, even through going through their conditions. To know like, oh, you know what? At least you, at least you do, do, you know, at least you were able to, like, use that town. Like, I, you know, you can boost their ego, too. Like, I've always wanted to do that. You know, like, you take out pictures. Sometimes, you know, in that condition, they also lose their, um, their vision. Um, they, their, certain, um, things start to deteriorate. But, like, I, I can attest to it. If you really, um, work on within these methods significant improvement like it is an official one up on that condition so and you're preparing them for you know having to lay them to rest like you're giving them peace of mind you know when you're invested in um, laying someone to rest you're not just invested in the eulogy the delivery of your own presentation but how they go out in the world like Um, so, um, 
Yeah, I think that's all that we wanted to say there. So natural kinship with the world and having to say goodbye. You present your holy grail in your, you know, time capsule of knowledge and life. And and it's still, you know, adding to it within the the cycle of seeking closure. So you're like, yeah, you know what? At least you were able to do this. You did so much. Isn't that crazy? And then you bring up a celebrity, a celebrity that they admire, and you like say, "Oh my gosh," like, um, and and you do like a comparative value thing, and it's like, dude, that that's so good, you know, to give someone peace of mind before not just you have to let them go, but before they have to let go, you know. And if they've handed over any of like their stuff to you, like because you were kind of the next in line, you were their like prodigy, um, you say like, you know what, thank you so much for like doing, you know, showing me how to do this. Like I didn't have that resource before. Um, and I didn't, you know, I didn't grow up that way. Um, so I thank you for, you know, being able to pass the torch. That, like, dude, that is fucking wonders. Seriously. Okay. Next up, um, Queen of Swords in Reverse, um, which is clarifying the world card in reverse. Okay. This is going through kind of like the Dark Knight of the Soul, but reaching the very end of the tunnel. Okay. Both are um, in hanged man mode. It's kind of like being in the Batcave. You see? Both are in reversal. I was resistant to go with the, like, the usual where I say, like, oh, yeah, you know, it's, um, it's in reversal, be and because they're in, you know, what is it, uh, um, uh, like, hangman view. I had to be open to the fact that there might be, like, some lies, some, um, mistruths being told, okay? I had to kind of, like, leave the storybook open, like, you know, that exists in the world, but, um, it doesn't take over. We reposition ourselves, you know. We have the know-how. I have the know-how. It's positive affirmations. I have the know-how. Uh, and by the way, this is seven on seven, so that's 14, which is the temperance card. Looking at this, we have a total of seven affirmations at the very bare minimum. It's like a bare bone approach with like a rib cage starting. I don't know how many ribs we have, maybe four or five or six, I don't I don't know. But it looks like the structure of that, okay? A slew of um, like connectivity here, okay? So we're looking at the torso, basically, <clears throat> of a person. You know, when you do like a chest bump, this is, this is essentially it, okay? Um, Mm, that's what they're telling me. Um, so, the world card in reverse. Okay. In finishing cycles, we re reposition ourselves because we know that when we're very, very close at the very <clears throat> end of the tunnel where we see the light, we feel it, we're engaged with it, it's luring us. Mm, that's um, like, um, there's two positions that are the most sensitive and critical. Okay, that's right before we step to the, <coughs> reach the end of the tunnel and we cross that threshold. Okay, it's right before it and right after. Those are the highest points of sensitivity. Um, think about like a birth canal, like when it's about to happen, as well as um, right after, the conditions of right after. It's, it's very much a culture shock. Okay, so we reposition ourselves, okay, uh, to look at things objectively. It's like, where am I at in this point in time? We are blessed with the opportunity to have that pausing moment. Um, mm -hmm. Especially after we say goodbye and assert ourselves to making that goodbye moment something beautiful. We have that option. We have many choices in life, okay? So... Um, that is our backup big red bow, like a self-generator to, you know, how we assert ourselves, okay? Then, next up is Mother of Earth. So, what's the positive affirmations there? I think we had multiple. 
I have the power to reposition myself to close out cycles beautifully. Okay, that's good. All right. So um, the seven of pentacles is clarifying the um, queen of pentacles in reverse. This is wonderful because the queen of pentacles goes deep, so deep that there is like a fluidity in patience on the seven of pentacles. It's beneath the surface. Hello. It's going to that realm of untapped potential um, because of your love for and your cognition, your recognition of um, sentience beyond what you can see, beyond your um, current foundations. So when you go beneath the surface, there's an area of, there's a degree of patience in um, knowing that um, even in unfamiliar territory, there are, um, you know, bigger, larger than life type of, um, like areas of threat, but also a high degree of protection. The shark is also considered a protective spirit totem um, uh, when it comes to certain cultures, such as Hawaiian. Um, I can't speak for the whole, but that's what I understand. Mm, I have a, I have a sore right there. I just felt it like, I had like a sharp tooth that got to it. I don't know, but um, when stuff like that happens, I know that there's a certain presence around. It's somebody who likes big lips, because when I tend to do that, I don't know why, but my lips get all puffy. It's somebody that, I don't know, why am I saying that? I don't know, but anyway lurks beneath the surface and i think that's like kind of like a danger zone kind of thing there's somebody that I... so sometimes you know that approach alone allows me to see what to observe um like what's going around what's going on around me even in these new conditions okay that that degree of patience and discipline allows me to observe the, observe the environment and do a SWOT analysis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so this is the central point, okay? Because, remember, the Queen of Pentacles was the clarifier for the world card being in reverse. And learning, not just through, like, not just getting through past the phases of heartbreak, but also preventative care. That's what it's saying. There's, I exercise patience in preventative care. I love it. Okay, so what's beneath the three of swords? Well, it's the elemental of water. How beautiful for a freak. That's beautiful. Elemental of water. That's a charm. That's a one up on the um, ace of cups or any other water card. I mean, you could pair this basically. This is the first time that I've got the message that you could pair this with anything. The fire element, the wand element, the pentacle element. It is. That's awesome. Okay, and because of that, we're not so concerned just about what goes on beneath the surface, but what goes on above it, okay? Hmm. That having patience isn't just like the, like the sacred act of being like still and quiet. Like, we can still like make a splash. <laughs> That's basically what it's saying, especially after, you know, like conquering the three of swords energy to to allow someone's implications um of ill will manifest into our own so that we keep quiet that we can like can't enjoy life that we can't find like you know the morsels to to be able to make that happen dude no 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 our power is so so much more magnified than that so we take the liberty of engaging in that reality okay then we have initiation, um, the judgment card, the karma card, um, 
followed up, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. This is this is wonderful. That's a give and receive equal exchange. This is my crew right here. Okay? It's not just self-initiation or the self that's initiated, but also the grouping. Definitely. Like, I don't just represent for myself. I represent for certain collectives um, within other dimensions, within other timelines, within other... Um, galaxies like dude for real i represent quite a bit so this is a massive this is a massive role and um that's not something that's just given freely like up for grabs down for shelter kind of thing like that's how you know who your haters are when they um when they're only looking at why does she get it why does he get that you know, when they're looking at just a surface level of aesthetic reward. Like, why do they get that power? Why? Why? You know, because we use it properly. Yeah, we're not just, we're not so engaged in just self-interest. You know, we're invested. Okay. On a greater level. You see? sentience of all others we still we still see the rabbit here too somebody's trying to do like what do you call it um a psychic psychic attack they're trying to penetrate like some kind of cognition there i could feel it um it doesn't hurt but i i'm in the awareness give me a second Ooh. so um You know, there's, there's that much, like, okay, there we go, my dear, <clears throat> and the earrings that I made, like, a day or two ago, it's cute, it's lovely, it's like fancy tribal, fancy tribal. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. Let me put on the other. It's left over from, like, fixing these bracelets. I love it. Because I have to be careful, like, with the things that I I wear on a regular. This is kind of, like, thing to fit right now. Anyway. Feeling much better. Do I have... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, all right. So, lastly, we have Seven of Swords, Xing out the bullshit, okay? Um, which is a clarifier for the Page of Swords. How wonderful is that? The intern, the learner, the student, <laughs> this youngin, has engaged in no longer trivial pursuits won that game you understand doing away with that bullshit energy bravo that's what the universe says <laughs> i shall accept the reward of that um acknowledgement mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mother of fire. Mm. Queen of wands. <laughs> That's funny. I kept hearing like, if you want to ride, Ride the white pony. <laughs> and then I'm hearing like... <laughs> and it's like, if you want to be rich, you have to be a bitch. <laughs> That's basically 
that's like the most divine that you can download off of that song. Because it's about, you know, um, the lures of, you know, certain vices. In particular, the white pony is what, crack or cocaine or something like that? But when you're looking at the white pony, ultimately you're looking at the most pristine version of the sun card, your vehicle. Okay? It's purity of, like, the free spirit. If you're looking at the symbology behind the spirit totem. Spirit animal. And, um... And if you want to be rich, if you want to be, like, abundant, you kind of have to be a bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> this is the witch of the deck. Mm -hmm. So, I'm an abundant bitch. <laughs> That's what they're saying. <laughs> okay. All right. Drop it. Mm-hmm. Three of Pentacles and the Goddess. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? You saw that. You saw that. I got that mail. <laughs> and the Empress. Goddess. Freaking awesome. This is. I'm not just a practitioner. I'm saying that I'm the Empress within my field. I know a lot of people are not going to digest that well. <laughs> Especially if they're like on a... They're, they're way behind there, you know, as far as this journey goes. But yeah, dude, to elevate from queen to the bitch <laughs> in, in the field, like for real, that's crazy. I got those two cards. I had no idea. Like, who would have thought the empress? That's crazy. We had several queens here. We had the queen of pentacles, queen of swords. And then the Queen of um, um, uh, b -b 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 Wands. That's interesting. Okay, anyway. Um, within my work, within my field, within not just the industry, but like when we speak of the industry, um, we're also speaking of the market. Which which means that I, I reach out on multiple levels, timelines, dimensions, um, galaxies. We're not talking about the interpretation of like this earthly, how we um, configure that to this earthly realm. Just like, you know, the 3D or 4D or 5D version of how we see it right here. These are several kingdoms for sure. And this is this is a workforce, um, how how that's interpreted in in other realms. <laughs> That's crazy. This is this is truly like Wanda vision. <laughs> but it's 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 real. <laughs> it's um to have that accessibility, uh, you know, it's insane. Like that this screams Wanda. Mhm. Mm that that screams the Scarlet Witch. You know um a red witch I learned is I think I think it is, but it's someone who has cycles during the major moon phases. <laughs> and I have that. Not always, because people like are so fucked up with their energy. I have to say. I have to admit to like people being like so fucked up with their energy. They abuse Celine's energy. Mm-hmm. And so because of that, there are certain times that I'm blessed to have my cycle in conjunction with major moon cycles. But it's not always for the fact that there's like there's a constant like um communication that um is given to me as to like change my um change my um cycle so it doesn't always hit during um major moon cycles to protect me. <laughs> that's crazy do you know how crazy that is with the um cosmic like interactions that they have how much power they have to help us influence our own <laughs> like, you can't fake friendship with them you 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 cannot and i will not allow for it and that's why i'm a good representative for them i'm a good friend to them <laughs> it's 
crazy. <laughs> it's just good. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bottom of the deck is... Maiden of Water. Page of Cups. Bring in the love. Again, splashy splash. Splashy splash. I'm hearing... Splish splash, I was taking a bath. All of this Saturday night, rub a dub, get down in the tub. Thinking everything's alright. Hmm. Well, I, I, I don't know what else they say. It's been a long time I heard that song. A little splishity splash. This is the good stuff. So, despite all the shit that I need to address in my life, um, despite, you know, the bare bones approach to my wallet, and which means like, <laughs> the savings account right now is highly spiritual. <laughs> That's where it exists. <laughs> and developing that. Okay, so. Somebody's trying to get at me. I can feel it. I can feel it. What is that song? What is it? Um, it's NWA. <laughs> That's what it is. I can feel it. Is it? No, it's Dr. Dre. <laughs> it's, um, ah, oh, shoot. It's like, oh, gosh, it has Snoop in it, too. Um, is it 187? On the undercover cop. It's. It's. I don't know. I forgot. I, th I feel like it's cop killer. Or it's. I don't know. I know that's going to trigger some people. But there's. Mm, I don't know. I have to look at that. Okay. Top of the deck is Nine of Wands in reverse. Nine of Fire in reverse. Hmm. What do we want to say about that? Hmm. You know, that's what it's saying. Okay. So we don't need to um, stand guard um, because we have a community that um, is so interwoven, intermeshed, like the communication lines are supreme. They're on point. So it's, it's, um, someone else is watching guard. Like there's, there's, um, a crew already like watching guard for me so I can do my splishity splash. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Splishity splash. That's so sweet. <laughs> okay. And then Nine of Cups in reverse. Again, we have Master Number 99, which is a master performer. Um, yeah, that's what it's saying. According to Andrew King's book in numerology. One of them, so anyway. Um, Nine of Cups in reverse. Like, what makes you happy? Engage with it. Continuously practice this. This is, this is um, fine-tuning your witchery, you know? Again, the lotus flower in reverse. And I think that is Lakshmi. Well, hello, Lakshmi. Mm -hmm. But she also has that the feels of, like, Venus, you see? Coming in, like, as a, like, as a lotus flower shell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is highly sensual. Oh, okay, it's splitting up to another here. In this way, which is Beltane. It's the lover's guard in reverse. I mean, I don't know if it's a reversal or upright, considering, but I feel like it's undercover love. This is highly sensual. Oh, my gosh. People are in love. Or sentience. Certain sentience is in love with, you know, us finding that. There's certain purity within, like, engaging in, like, what makes you happy? For real. Like, you know, being able to engage in that alone rather than, like, the need, like, I have to have someone else. Like, I need... No, no. There's something lovable about this character right here. It's not just for the sake of self-development, but for others within that receptive, like, passive mode. You know? It's like, you know, when... It's like the art of gift-giving. When you see somebody is, like, truly happy with, like, what they have within their own intimate moment, 
So it's cool. Okay. So anyway, um, we have master number 99 here. In fact, we have 996 um, as um, an angel number. I need to write this down. Okay, that's fine. Um... What was the other one? We had Splish Splash. Yeah, White Pony. And we have Can you remember? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Sorry. My um <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, we have that. Um this is like respectable sensual though. This is not like, this is not sleazy. I mean, Lakshmi for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is, um, well celebrated like this union on the cover. Um, but yeah, we don't need to like always be like on guard. That's what it's saying. Um, <laughs> this positive affirmations is just the acknowledgement. Oh, we have 12 here also showing itself and 16 okay what slid off on the cards between um the lover's card and the um yeah something is coming to surface like a freaking lotus flower which is this lover's card so not only is it self-actualization through the art of this knowing and engagement but also um finding our like our person is coming to surface freaking lotus flower but um the circle here is what showed itself like the card slid and it showed this and the the omens which is the tower moment in the greater scheme of things especially with that full moon thing going on right there um this is um something that is destined to happen for sure because the hangman here in the as above is a commune it's it's like a commune of the greats within different atmospheres um so I'm going to say that I, that is very auspicious. That's wonderful. Almost forgot. I still have yogurt. having the formal in. I was pointing to the initiation card. For sure. We've got I've got the in. Thank you. It also revealed itself to be N I at first, but I don't know. I revealed it to you guys just I N. One was down, one was up. But I think NI is on the periodic table, by the way. I, again. R, Inri, on the cross, crucifix. So that is something in Latin, I believe, but on the crucifix. So we have Jesus Christ energy here. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you for being here, helping me through. We have Q, A, something about Iraq here and I, Iran. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it's saying. Um, e o r a t i i i o d t n e g c p x v e g. We have Vince, Vincent. I got P D Police Department. NPD, which is, um, new product development, um, trait, um, traits, like, um, characteristics, okay? Um, we also have rate, like Bonnie rate. I haven't gotten that in a long time, Bonnie rate, um... 
I mean, I haven't had that. I need to write this stuff down. Goodness gracious, give me a second. I'm getting all discombobulated here. Okay. Give me a second. Got the pen handy. Okay, so we have white pony splish splash. And I think something Dr. Dre. The 996, then Bonnie Raitt. I'm hearing, um, um, you can't make, um, you can't make me love you if you don't. You can't make your heart feel something it won't. Here in the dark, um, these final hours, something like that. I, I don't really remember because it's been a long ass time since I heard that song. These final hours. I don't know. Something. You can't make me love you if you don't or won't. Here in the dark, these are. Okay, anyway. Going. Um. Gone. Yeah, something about having to say goodbye, like the real warrior in us. Um, this preparation is not just for self, but for another. So it goes through multiple levels. I mean, that's why grief is such a big deal as far as its um, steps on in digesting. And I think that's going to evolve at some point um, to be more fitting of um, our progression, mm -hmm. our coping mechanisms, um, that with a human condition, we can also... Um, see, um, find a realm within that as opportunities for improvement. We can we can better manage. So I think there's going to be an evolution within like the seven stages of grief, whatever. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I see ongoing here. Mm -hmm. Um. We have Tori, Terry, Tara, Irene, Trey. Um, um, Patty, mm, Dinny, that's somebody's last name, D-I-N-N-I-E, Pat, oh my gosh, Patrice, Patricia, Gina, Tina, Aaron, Ian, um, Tinder, I don't know why I have that there, um, doing. Don, Ron, um, Ronnie, Donnie, Dan, Danny, Dancy. It's Dancy Dance time. That's what um <clears throat> they would say in Yo Gabba Gabba. Um, dancer. Um. Um, Gia, Gianna, Ray, um, Tran, um, I think I have coaxinite again. It's not even coaxinite. It's co. I have to look it up. Give me a second. No, it's not coaxinite. It's coca co co or cocaxinite. There's two C's. We only have one. Sorry. Um, maybe that's a hidden message on energetics. That is still something that we could still use. 
Um, Rex. Mm, Vex. Vixen. Um, oh my gosh, people. Super Vixen. That's by Garbage. Hmm. Well, interesting to hold that energy for sure. <laughs> um, what else? Um, gong. Rat. There's rats. Um, train. Mm. I feel like ongoing is specific here as far as ongoing improvement. Um, that That's the whole idea of, you know, like continuous improvement. That's um, what, you know, auditors do. That's what they aim for. Um, at least that's their model. Oh, I see treat. Oh my gosh. I was just turning up letters and that, that's showing up. So treat. We get a treat. <laughs> a lifetime supply of cookies, Tina. Thank you. From your favorite cookie shop. Thank you. <laughs> They're so sweet. <laughs> um, event. I think what the divine wants us to acknowledge is that these are not just occurrences and happenings in our lives. These are events, you know, events that request like the RSVP. Hmm. Some events are very exclusive for just VIPs. So to treat this as a formal occasion to rise to it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like see <laughs> and some treats are exclusive to these events so you never know what you can get out of these things okay so I'm not really invited to like certain events or formal events I don't know I I, I just stopped being like weirded about about that long time ago like the FOMO thing is like it, it's okay um but it's more like I'm invited to certain circles and events like on like the hush that nobody even knows that exists like I hardly even knew like know it until it's like here <laughs> so um there are certain people that check up on me and I have more supporters than I do not. So like that's luck. That's <laughs> the luck of the draw basically. And that only comes from, that's, that's just a saying. The luck of the draw is from years of skill. Like that it's, it's very, um, it's applied practice that shows for itself. So, um, yeah. Um, RX, I'm being drawn to put it there. So there's a lot of remedy in the situations that we're placed in. Okay. Not just remedy, but also relief. So, um, what else is it saying here? I mean, there's also excite. And expedite? What? No. Let me just see that here. Shh. Shh. <laughs> um, expedite is in here, but I have to, like, completely change, like, take away event and treat. And I feel like that's, we should be more focused on the breakdown of what we first were followed to, um, to engage with, which is the meaning of treat and event here. That those are the takeaways, not just like speeding through the journey, but because of that, hidden here, able to expedite. Okay. 
There's a lot of, like, eyes here, okay? Oh, we have a lot of eyes on us. Whoa! Our story, for sure. Um, I'm seeing, like, pod here, like, isopod, in, like, something like that here. It's hidden, like, there's... Okay. So, let's see here. Grain. Um, not to underestimate the grain, because grain is very much like a seed. Um, it can be an irritant, but it can also produce beautiful things such as pearls of wisdom. Yes. Grain of sand, grain of salt, you know, there's still value. Grain, um, or wheat depicts sustenance. Yeah, or even a grain of rice. Mm -hmm. All right. I see CGI, the abbreviation, or someone's initial CIG. Um, POD. Um, there's Rod. There's other names in here, but it skipped over them. We have Trevor. Mm -hmm. Caviar. Yeah, there's some fancy people in here. <laughs> you know, like VIP is here. And like, dude, we can get caviar. Come on. People have very, like, yeah. Anyway, okay. Um. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know where to put the X. I mean, I guess it could be XI or IX or give me a second, my knee. Ooh. Um, I guess oxen or X or hmm. I don't know. Let's get to the others, okay? QVC. Somebody's had a job there. I don't know. I don't know why I'm called to say that, but they might be skeptical or something. I don't know. I think it's supposed to, like, blow them away. Like, who, who the fuck would know that? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's that. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Um, Inri. I think Spirit really wants me to put that there. Um, what? Is it INXS? Give me a second. That's crazy. I... I was called to put INXS, but we don't even have an S, so... But that's a bound. I think I'm supposed to get something out of... I'm not... I'm pretty sure. Inri. Uh-huh. That's what I'm called to put there. Um... Drip. Crop, mm -hmm. like um, it's saying that um, they're like we're independent contractors, so we work for ourselves basically. But um, this is shared with like grain and Enri, so um, 
it's like a cornerstone, like spirit, uh, Jesus, spirit through the form of Jesus, um, within like the sacrificial mode and like the bare bones approach and even like your bones showing through your skin, like, um, that degree of sacrifice involvement, um, it, it moves from like the abundance from grain to a crop. It's something I mean, he's my ideal matter of fact. Okay. Um, Like he's, um, he's the cream of the crop, something like that. There's, again, pointing to the lover's card as well. Um, we have two I's, one O, G, D, Q, and X left. We also have geode here. So geode is something that we could work with. So what is that? Quartz within, um, like a cave-like atmosphere in an orb-like fashion. Mm. So with that, we're looking at Druzy, you know? Um, you find that there. There's a lot of emotional intelligence here, as well as, like, IQ. Mm. Um, void, okay, looking at um, our events as opportunities, even within darkness, that there's much that can be made out of those situations, okay, so there's that, okay, I, I'm pointing to like the dark night of the soul. It showed me for the second or third time to put in ox and it, IX for um, dark night of the soul, the hermit card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and also dig, I feel like, let me see if there's any other place that this can be put. No, that's where it goes. So in accessing the void, um, you're also called to dig. This is, um, the tower moment within the essentials of understanding what fa building foundations means or like what foundations means without the pentacle like physicality of a building structure to refer to. So going through the tower moment is very much also very much an intangible um, concept in um, knowing what's best for the situation just as ourselves. So when we go through that darkness, AKA the void, when we address that point, when we step into that, um, we know that we are meant to access like another light, okay? Um, and because of that, sometimes we have to um, dig at things, like um, um, look at the primary value, the, the conditions of like what already is like pre-existing. Um, and again, we also, with that spiritually speaking, we're looking at our past lives. We're looking at, um, ancestral traumas. We're looking at ancestral karma. We're looking, we're doing that kind of a dig. Okay. We're also laying things to rest, having to say goodbye to certain things. Um, very important. This is, um, these moments are meant to boost, boost our IQ. Um, when in the learning mode of, um, getting ourselves involved as well as the sacrifice, because it's, um, there's two places that I can put IQ. Hmm. One is on dig and one is on in re the actual sacrifice. So, um, at least two 
access points of learning opportunities within the faceted value of becoming more involved. Okay? So you go as fast or as deep as you want to. Oh my God, people are so crazy. Um, um, when it comes to your realm of learnings, okay? You can engage in the learning process of the digging part of it, but then you can further engage when you're ready into the like a real sacrifice portion of it, which is um, that which can um, magnify a grain into a crop. Mm -hmm. Definitely dark night of the soul. So there's just different facets of it. There's like the surface level and there's the one that goes deep. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let me show you what's up. Give me a second. You see what I'm saying? You see? Gosh, there's quite a bit going on right here. Mm. Yeah, but, um, let's see, you have IQ right there. Again, Dark Knight of the Soul goes over here. Um, so this is like surface level and then the deep. This is, it's like a leading up kind of into this pocket. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. To get from here to here, um, they provide a treat in the interim. <laughs> they know me. So, now that this reading is officially over, I thank my sponsors and my supporters, our sponsors and supporters, for their donations um, provided in light and love. And if you like any of my readings, if you find value in them, please, at the very least, drop a like, uh, a heart thingy, um, subscribe. <laughs> Something like that. I would certainly appreciate it, especially those who um, um, spread the message as well um, to consider immediate um, realm of um, reciprocation by at least liking my stuff um, on the physical plane so that I can spread out further. Um, yeah. I would appreciate it. My guides would appreciate it. My support team, my true, true, true support team would appreciate that, um, that realm of integrity. <clears throat> so thank you for respecting my time, my space, my energy, my work, and that of my teams, as well as their children's. Now that this reading is now officially over, Upon closing all portals, I send all energies back to their appropriate locations outside of mine. With their appropriate karmas due, helping initiate that force that unrolled out. Enlighten love. I close all portals. Now.